2022, Titus Hill Fire Department underwent a metamorphosis to keep up with the continuous growth of our city. Part of this growth included the promotion of our new fire chief, John Hasolis. Moving into the future, the department will have a support services and operations division. Under this new organizational structure, we will streamline the workflow, allowing for increased efficiency and better service to the public. In addition, our department has rebranded with a new logo, vision, mission, values, and strategic five-year plan. These changes were predicated on our community deserving nothing but the most elite prevention, education, and first response team. Our team is made up of 82 total personnel, 75 sworn line personnel, and seven civilian employees. This year, we are also proud to celebrate several promotions and important employee milestones. Each individual has shown expert professionalism and long-standing devotion to duty. The operations division is made up of frontline personnel who respond to emergencies wherever they arise. Led by the newly appointed Deputy Chief, Jeff Harris, the Operations Division is divided into three battalions, each under the direct supervision of a battalion chief. Each first responder is a certified emergency medical technician or paramedic. The battalions work 24-hour shifts out of four fire stations located throughout the city, and each station is under the direct supervision of a lieutenant. As the city continues to grow, Plans are already in place to add a fifth fire station. Station 14 opens spring of 2024 at 1100 John Glenn Boulevard. On a typical day, we utilize three fire engines, one ladder truck, one squad, one rescue, one command vehicle, and a marine rescue boat. This year, we responded to a total of 10,771 calls. Of those, 144 calls were fire calls, and over 6,000 were medical emergencies. Our average response time was 4 minutes and 38 seconds. To meet the demands of an increasing population, we were approved to put an additional squad into service at Station 12. Part of our reorganization included the appointment of Deputy Chief Lucas Singer to oversee the Support Services Division. The division is comprised of administration, finance, fire prevention, and public outreach. In an effort to provide quality control and division of work, Greg Sutton moved into the newly created Administrative Battalion Chief position. This position supervises training, recruitment, retention, and equipment for our department. Under the supervision of Captain Matt Johnson, eight qualified personnel are responsible for planning, designing, and executing all department training activities. This year, our crews have logged over 20,000 hours of training. The fire service in Florida is facing a serious employee shortfall. For the first time in our history, we have created a recruitment team made up of members of various ranks. Their mission is to visit and attend local events, job fairs, high schools, and colleges to inform and educate others on what Titusville Fire has to offer. As a result of their efforts, we have hired nine new employees and for the first time are sponsoring a student through the Fire Academy. This year, Captain Frank Canada continues the task of managing all logistical support for the fire department. He has also taken on the additional responsibility of coordinating fleet and facility upkeep. For fiscal year 2022, our budget totaled $7.4 million. Over $6 million was dedicated to personnel and approximately $750,000 to operations. Fire Marshal Paul Anderson and our prevention team continue to work with developers and contractors, conduct annual inspections, administer the smoke alarm program, and issue permits. The prevention division completed a total of over 1,400 inspections, 700 plan reviews, and nine fire investigations. The responsibility for overseeing emergency management falls under the leadership of the fire department. This year we conducted a mock natural disaster training, which proved to be useful for our Hurricane Ian and Hurricane Nicole activations. New to our emergency management component, Fire Inspector Kyle Mack has taken on an additional role as the city's EM coordinator. Our public education outreach was back to normal this year with in-person engine displays, station tours, and safety presentations. Throughout 2022, we had the pleasure to partner with local businesses, organizations, and agencies teaching fire prevention and life safety methods in the community. Overall, we participated in 195 events, reaching over 6,000 people. 
This included fitting 170 bicycle helmets, training 12 people in hands-only CPR, inspecting over 50 car seats, and providing 43 child passenger seats through our reduced cost program. 2022 was a busy year as we made major strides in improving our operations. We were able to complete a five-year master plan that included a restructured organizational chart, new department logo, recruitment video, and challenge coin. We were approved to purchase a new tower truck and ambulance. We also implemented ESO software for record retention, purchased a Stryker auto stretcher, and a Lucas automated CPR device. Finally, we were awarded a safer grant totaling $1.4 million. This grant has enabled us to hire nine new firefighters, allowing us to staff our new Station 14. The service we provide is made possible by our city leadership, elected officials, our fire department family, and support from our citizens. We'd like to commend the hard work and vested interest of these motivated individuals who together share a common vision. As chief of the Titusville Fire Department and on behalf of this great organization, we would like to say thank you.